this is Vishal from Uncharted FX, and uh, I wanted to give my thoughts on what I'm seeing in the uh, cryptocurrency markets uh, because uh, there's a lot of uh, geopolitics uh, involved with this, and this is my opinion. Um, so, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, we had a big break here, over 10,000, and uh, the next zone here is uh, 17,000. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, why is uh, Bitcoin having a huge shock while a lot of the other altcoins uh, aren't really uh, following along and I think uh, there's one word uh, which is not mentioned a lot in the cryptocurrency um, uh, I guess environment or uh, circles uh, because I think people have an interest you know to keep uh, Bitcoin and cryptos going up and that word is China so when we had this big move up to 20,000, uh, a lot of people didn't want to admit it, but more than 90% of that volume was Chinese money. Uh, so why did China put a lot of money in Bitcoin or Chinese uh, people uh, or citizens? Sorry, very simple. In China, if you want to be a day trader or uh, you know open a trading account, um, you have to have government permission. You can't really day trade the Chinese markets because I believe they still have the T plus one rule, meaning you have to buy and then you can't sell after uh, you have to hold it for a day to sell. Uh, but, you know, just for the ordinary person, if they wanted to invest or trade, uh, they would have to have government permission to open a trading account. However, because cryptocurrencies are decentralized, anyone could open an account and the Chinese government couldn't do anything about it. And that's why you saw a lot of uh, Chinese money enter the crypto markets uh, to trade the markets and then what happened was uh, around the time when the uh, when cryptos began to fall there was an announcement in China where they essentially uh, banned Bitcoin trading uh, so I mean you know the government couldn't really go and track people down but what did people do uh, for fear out of <clears throat> being caught by the government they sold their cryptos I mean it's common sense think of say if like president trump came out tomorrow saying if you're an american and you're caught holding bitcoin there's going to be some problems um you know a lot of people who got into this market uh because of the gains uh that they saw um you know they're probably going to sell their cryptos off there's only going to be a handful of people who say you know what uh who want to stick it to the man and say hey screw the government but you know realistically it's not going to be too many people in my opinion who do that uh, most of the people the average joe who got into this market because they saw the gains that were coming will decide to sell their positions and that's what i believe happened um in china so fast forward to where we are now uh kyle bass has the best theory essentially on uh why bitcoin is going up and it's because the chinese economy is not doing so great so China has capital controls, meaning if you want to take money out of uh, the country, uh, you know, you can only take, I believe, 50K a month out or something. So it's very difficult. They make it very tough. However, with Bitcoin, since it's decentralized, uh, you can put your and digital, you can put your money into cryptos and go fly overseas. You have your wallet, online wallet, and then you can cash out and you have your money uh, in another country. And... Um, uh, this is what Kyle Bass is saying that due to what's happening in China right now a lot of even the Communist Party members are putting money in Bitcoin uh, as a way to uh, either sa uh, save their money or get money out of the country uh, so let's tackle the whole uh, the point about saving money first uh, because this is very important and this is why this chart in the crypto market is very important and that is the chart of the us dollar and the chinese yuan so as the doll as uh, the chinese yuan was devalued getting devalued so depreciating against uh the dollar uh the, a lot of uh, ccp members communist party members were putting money into cryptos uh or into bitcoin because they knew that the yuan was going to get devalued uh so that's a way that they could save their purchasing power so this is why it's quite funny if we do see a nice fall in cryptos or in bitcoin uh expect this uh the yuan to appreciate uh and that will sort of validate uh this theory and also if uh, we see some sort of uh deal that comes out of this whole g20 meeting between president uh, trump and president xi uh that might also bring bitcoin down because it is chinese money that has been hiding uh in cryptos so if bitcoin is gonna keep skyrocketing 
watch for this level here like the seven dollar level pretty much watch that seven dollar to break if we see a big break in uh the us dollar chinese yuan where we go above seven uh i think bitcoin is going to skyrocket however the people's bank of china has made it very clear that they tend to hold uh the seven uh the seven uh dollar uh area here so uh you know is this the top for bitcoin i don't know but i'm just saying this is the uh theory uh that i believe uh is the most uh, uh probable and this is why you're seeing bitcoin skyrocket while all the other altcoins aren't really doing much so with the other altcoins that's the people who are actually you know the 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 the, uh, the crypto pumpers and um generally the average retail trader here in canada or, or america or western uh europe or whatever they're probably trading uh you know the altcoins um while the big money is going into bitcoin because it's a way to fight this uh yuan devaluation and a way to get money out of china so on the on the whole idea about china uh you know having economic problems the government there is coming down very hard. Um, you're even seeing that bank, Baoshang Bank, had to ha uh, be bailed out. So there is some bank failures occurring in China. And also, what you're seeing in Hong Kong is very important. Uh, Hong Kong had British law, uh, or has British law, so essentially, uh, you know, it's a state within a state. A lot of mainland Chinese uh, would put money in Hong Kong, like buy real estate, then sell the real estate in Hong Kong, and then, due to the British laws there, uh, they could easily take that money overseas to places like Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, however, what you're seeing is that the, the mainland China is now cracking down on Hong Kong with the extradition laws and essentially, uh, you know, Kyle Bass has covered this a lot. A lot of families that have lived in Hong Kong for many, for many decades are basically leaving because the, uh, uh, the mainland, the Communist Party is encroaching a lot on Hong Kong and it's because they are trying to, I believe, also uh, control money flows but more importantly uh, I believe uh, China mainland China is using Hong Kong as a way to export their goods as a way to get around American tariffs uh, so this is why Hong Kong is key and what you're seeing in Hong Kong now shows you that the main um, uh, the CCP is essentially coming down on capital and on coming down on money control and this is why you're seeing uh, Bitcoin uh, go up very well so again folks uh, China is the big key uh, when it comes to cryptos and what we're seeing next is if there is some sort of deal or some sort of good talks uh, you know personally I don't think so I don't think we're gonna see some uh, good deals um, so and if that happens and we see the Chinese economy deteriorate you will see Bitcoin going up and if we see uh, the Yuan break above seven we'll see a huge spike in Bitcoin however if we see some sort of fall in the Yuan here uh, if we see some sort of uh, uh, deal and negotiations going well uh, expect Bitcoin to probably pull back uh, and it's all due to Chinese uh, money so what do I think is going to cause these altcoins to actually go up uh, very simple I know it's not a very popular uh, opinion but it is going to be regulations um if you're a big investment fund or a big institutional fund or a big bank or something uh you can't put your money in cryptos uh you know when there's no regulations you're hearing stories about uh, money being stolen and um certain uh, crypto exchanges getting closed you know so if you are a very wealthy individual or maybe you have a smaller fund yeah sure you, you can put money into cryptos but i'm talking about big big institutions uh, they want regulations because they want to make sure that their money is safe and i believe once regu uh, regulations come uh, it's going to be uh, very positive for the market uh, for the crypto market however uh, it's going to sort of uh, be strange because it's going to defeat the whole purpose of cryptos and that was you know to be decentralized um, so it'll be interesting to see how the crypto crowd uh, reacts to it uh, a lot of you who read my blog and stuff uh, you know my opinion on digital currencies i believe uh you know once the next financial crisis occurs um they're going to have to go to a digital currency so we're going to see bank runs uh and banks are going to be shut down and essentially you know all money is going to be frozen uh and to prevent bank runs, government will issue a digital currency because they know that as soon as they uh, give some liquidity to the banks after this crisis, after this credit freeze, people are going to still run to the banks to take their money out. 
and I believe some sort of uh, crypto uh, digital currency is going to be created for everyone uh, to get access to their money in the banks and this is also good for the government for two things because now they can track money uh, you know so if you pay for um, uh, you know if you sell something on Craigslist or uh, sell your services for tutoring or something um, you'll be taxed for it also it's good for the green taxes essentially you can uh, take money um, out of people's uh, uh, wallets uh, through for taxes and it's also a good way most importantly to uh, get income from small businesses and restaurants so for the tips and everything it'll all be tracked and taxed and generally for small businesses they're shutting down a lot of loopholes however these loopholes can't really take uh, be taken into effect until we have a digital currency where money can be flow uh, tracked uh, right now small business can hide money in many different loopholes by you know buying a car or, or a house through their uh, business or um, you know saying one of their family members worked uh, for them uh, and they paid them so the t uh, tax uh, pretty much uh, you know uh, will remain in the family uh, so that that's a lot of ways uh, they can uh, you know hide money right now and I believe, you know, with the employee class already being tapped out, uh, the digital currency is required in order to get money and tax money for the um, small business uh, class, right? Uh, also, and finally, uh, it's going to be required if we do take the whole monetary, uh, modern monetary money route. Um, all these uh, socialist economists, they know that if you expand the money supply and give people more money but uh the goods and services do not increase uh nothing's happening right uh, all you're doing is giving people more money to compete for the same number of uh, uh resources and goods and services so essentially uh that uh you know you'll see inflation but uh what these uh, what the whole idea of modern monetary theory is is essentially taxes will have to be high and uh the government now runs as the central bank where essentially the government will have large taxes uh in order to take money supply out of the economy uh to handle inflation so i believe you know they will need a digital uh currency for that and uh this is the path that i think they're gonna take uh, what does that mean for, uh, you know, these type of cryptocurrencies? Uh, you know, again, I'm not really sure. Will Bitcoin still be, you know, uh, 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 somewhere to hide your money? Perhaps. Uh, but, you know, time will tell. And uh, that's just what I think uh, is going to happen with the uh, crypto markets. If you uh, like the video, uh, please give it a like. And if you aren't following the channel, uh, please uh, follow the channel if you uh, like my content. I try to post uh, something every week uh, regarding the markets and geopolitics and what is coming.